Hello! Today I am going to show you how to make meat dumplings. So let's get down to the ingredients we'll need for the pastry. For this recipe we will need 250 grams of baking flour. Pass it through the sieve. 80 milliliters of water into the pot. 80 milliliters of water, yes? Put the pan on the fire and let the water boil, yes? As this pan is on the fire, the next thing we do is break up one egg into the baking flour, yes? One egg into the baking flour. Good, like that. Go in with your hands, mix it up. The heat for the water, remember, is on low heat, yes? Low heat, low heat. Until it starts having bubbles at the bottom, yes? I've mixed it up like that, yes, you can see it. Okay, now the water is boiling. So I'm going to put one tablespoon of vegetable oil into the boiling water, yes? Good, it's boiling once again, so we throw it in here, yes? Be careful, now it's hot, and exactly when it's hot, that's when you need to go in to knead it up, yes? Be careful, it's hot, very hot. Okay, so you see that? Good. This is how nice our dough comes out, yes? For our dumplings. Look at it. Oh, very nice, yes? Very, very nice, yes? You can see that? Good. So make it into a circle and put it under the cling film, yes? I will leave it to rest for 25 to 30 minutes. For the fillings of our dumplings, we'll have our minced meat here. Okay, here we have 225 grams of minced meat. Good. Put it here. One quarter of a teaspoon of salt, yes. Mix it up. One quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix it up. One quarter of a teaspoon of black Cameroon pepper. Mix it up. I love my dumplings really peppery. Yes? If you don't, please, you could just put a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper and that's okay, all right? But I still go with my Cameroon pepper and my chili pepper, yes? Uh-huh. So chili pepper, I take one quarter of a teaspoon full, yes, of chili pepper. Mm -hmm. And mix it up, yes? Next, I'll grate my onions, yes? I use the big side to grate my onions, the big side of my grater to grate my onions, yes? Okay, so I am done grating my onion, yes? One onion, I'm done grating it. And I'll mix it up, yes? And to this mixture, I will add 20 milliliters of water. 20 milliliters of water, yes. Goes into the mixture like that. Yes. Uh -huh. Now it became a little bit fluffy. That's what we are looking for. Next, I'm going to put in 15 milliliters of vegetable oil, yes. 15 milliliters of vegetable oil or one tablespoon of vegetable oil, yes? Okay, and mix it up. 
Okay, and into this mix, I will add one teaspoon of semo vita. Yes, one teaspoon of semo vita. Now, for those of us in countries that we do not know what is semo vita, we can add semolina. Yes, and mix it up. If you cannot get the semo vita, please take up semolina. So we are done with this. We'll cover it in a clean film and leave it for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so the time is up for us to remove the dough from the clean film, yes? Before we do that, we will sprinkle some flour on the work table, yes? Like that. Good. Okay, our dough is out of the clean film now. My rolling pin is in the baking flour. Just like that, and we will roll it up. Yeah, apply a little bit of pressure. Yes, yeah, put some flour right there. Yes, put some flour right there, like that. Turn it over. Put some right there like that and roll it out. Now to turn a big one like this, yes, I'm going to do it very easy like that, yes, very easy, yeah, uh-huh, see that, a lot of flour goes there, yes, and I'll put it back, yeah, and do this, yes, from this side. So it doesn't tear off, yeah? Good. Good, like that, yes? Like that. Good. So now if you want to move it, yes? If you want to move it on the table, because you've done all that, you can easily move it. You see that? See that? can easily move it. Yeah, and it wouldn't have a tear on the body. Okay, so let's go. Let's keep on rolling it out. Yes. Okay, so I've rolled it out like this. Yes, but I still need to get it really teeny here. I will give it a cut. Yes. Uh huh. If you've rolled it out and there's no space on the table, like I don't have any space here to roll it further, I'll give it a cut. Yes. Just like that, yeah? And one half of the dough goes to another half of the table. Yeah? Like that. Uh-huh. Like that, yes? Well, I will try to roll out this one, yes? Then I'll roll out the second one, yes? Okay, so now our dough here is done, yes? Okay. Good. We shift it aside and bring this one, yes? Shift this one aside. You can see that. You can see how thin it is, yes? Let me show you again. You can see that, yeah? Good. So, it goes there. Very, very nice, yes? Why we roll out this one, yeah? So it should take you there about 20 minutes, yes? To roll it out, yes? The two of them, yeah? It will take you about 20 minutes to do that. We are going to press it out, yes? Into the size that we want our dumplings to be, yes? I'm just checking with my hands to see if there is any side that is thicker than the other so i can roll it out yes you can roll it out like that yeah you would feel it under the hands okay so you roll it out and see yes 
Good. So don't put your rolling pin too far away. Yes? Now, this is the diameter that I am looking at. Yes? This is the diameter. Is there about six, five or six centimeters? Yeah? Uh-huh. That's the one I want. Yeah? So it's more like a teacup. And I'll press it up like that. Yeah? Good. I've pressed it out. It's very easy. Yeah? Like that. Yes? Let me put it aside. Yeah? Let's do another one. Mm-hmm. We press it out. Easy. Take it off. Like that. Press it out. Yeah? Yes, like that. Tear it off. Mm -hmm. Once there is a pressure on the dough, it's very easy to take it out. Yeah. Now let's see this one. Good. Yeah, like that. Good. Take it out. And I'll continue just the same. Yes. Okay, so I am done pressing out the dough. I have 50 pieces here, okay? 50 pieces. Now, here in my pot, I put 3 liters of water. 3 liters of water. The meat is ready, yes. So I've taken it off the cooling film. And we will have water here. Yes, just some water, yes. Put water there. We're just going to use the fork to turn the minced meat, yes? We will turn on the burner with our 3 liters of water. Put it on a medium heat. Now let's go to putting our fillings into the pastry. Just like that, yes? Put it in like that. Put your finger, dip your finger in the water. Yes, in the water. Just like that, yes. All around the edge, yes. All around the edge. And close it up, yes. Close it up like that, yeah. Good. Apply a little pressure then. Yes. Put your finger into the water on this edge and twist it up like that. Yes. Apply some pressure. Yeah. And our dumplings are ready. Now you put it on a plate, but before putting it into the plate, sprinkle some baking flour. Yes. Like that. Yes? And we go on the second one. Yeah? Let's see how it goes. One teaspoon. Yes? One teaspoon of minced meat. Yeah? Press it in with your thumb. Yes? Like that. And put it in here. Yeah? In the center. Your finger into the water. Dip it into the water. Severally. Sweat enough, yes. And put it at this edge, yeah, at the edge like that, all around the circle, okay. Then close it up, yes. Close it up like that. Don't pull it, yes. Just gently close it up, yes, like that. Good. A little bit of pressure. Just a little bit of pressure. Good. Some water. And lock it up. Yes. Like that. Good. We locked it up like that. Good. Like that. So I'm going to finish up the rest and I'll get back to you. 
I have finished, yes, making my dumplings like that, yes, into the boiling water. Before putting the dumplings, I will put half of a tablespoon of salt into my three liters of water. Yeah, good. You see? Mm -hmm. I am going to put in my dumplings into the water. Good. I will cover it up. Don't move too far away from the pot because the water is going to come up. Yes? So I'm covering it up and I'm standing by the side. Yeah, for a minute or two. Yes? Okay, my dumplings are cooking. Yes? Whoa! You see what I was talking about? Yes? Good. You need to cook these dumplings for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yes? Try to drain away all the water there. Yes? Put it on the plate like that. Now, with this, I'm going to take up the butter here and put it like that. And try to turn it around. Yes? Good. Like that. You see that? The butter is given away bit by bit. Yes? And we'll put the other. Why we put in the butter? Yes? So our dumplings don't stick to each other. Okay? We're going to put the butter. Yes? Aha, uh -huh, like that. You can put some more. Trust me, it's very nice with the butter, okay? So, don't be scared. It's not going to be oily, don't worry. Mm -hmm. And then you turn it around like that, okay? Good. And you leave it aside, throw in the others. Okay, so my dumplings are ready. You can see that. Yes, I'm going to try one as usual. Yes, you can see it. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. The meat is very nice. Mmm. Very juicy. You need to try these dumplings in your house. Please, go ahead. Very, very nice. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Mmm. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.